Today we're gonna fire up our off-grid hot tub. We're gonna find out if we can fill the hot tub from the frozen lake, and we might just find out how cold that lake is. Last video we took delivery of the Goodland wood-burning hot tub and set it up. Today we're snowshoeing to it to try it for the first time. Let's see how this roof is doing. It's holding up. Look at this Charlie Brown Christmas tree. You ready for the hot tub? Swimming? Someone's excited. We have no running water or electricity here, so our challenge is to get water from the frozen lake into the hot tub before we can fire it up. The goal is to pump water up to the tub using a submersible pump and a generator. Let's see if this works. I've never done this before. It's important to service your generators often, something that I've clearly neglected to do. And we've got running water. While that fills, I'm gonna go split some firewood. Our firewood's under here. All right. It's frosty. All right, we got some cedar here. We plan on coming up with a more permanent solution for storing wood in the winter, something a bit more accessible, but we got it, so that's all that matters for now. The instructions suggest putting a layer of sand in the bottom of the firebox to prolong its life. It's not necessary, but we expect this tub to last forever, so we took that step. This is probably one of the easiest fires I've ever lit. I think just the way the stove box sucks in air from the top and then it shoots it out the chimney. I just used the shipping material and the kindling that it came with and a couple sticks of cedar and it just fired right up. I'm really enjoying this heating process, like the crackling fire, the stirring of the water, the anticipation. The water started out at almost freezing temperatures, but it didn't take very long for it to start climbing. I'd say it took just over two hours, so it took a little longer than, say, the summer or fall to heat this up. But it's a beautiful day, and it's a perfect opportunity to spend some family time. Are we going to go in the hot tub? I think so. I know we're going to love this hot tub, but I'm excited to see what our little guy thinks. 98. 102, 105, 106. As predicted, he loves it. As soon as he got in, he started splashing the water. His hat got immediately soaked. He just loves water. He's an absolute fish, and this is perfect for him. This is 100% rewarding. The second we sat in the water, we were thrown back to a trip we took to Iceland a few years ago, where we swam in a hot spring almost every single day. This definitely has like a natural vibe. There's no smell of chemicals. You just smell cedar and you hear the crackling of the fire. It's a lot more like a Scandinavian spa, I would say, than like the plastic tub experience. And we love it. We had our family out the following weekend to try it out. My brothers cut a hole in the ice for a cold plunge. They went with a cold then hot. I prefer going hot then cold, but to each their own, I guess. Spring is on the way and we plan to build a more permanent spot for our off-grid bottle warmer. But for now, this will do.